Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carle Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this way and that. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help? asked Mr. Seahorse. Oh yes, thank you, said Mrs. Seahorse and she laid her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take good care of our eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of reeds. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? asked Mr. Seahorse. Delighted, replied Mr. Stickleback. I just built a nest and right away, Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs into it. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. Keep up the good work said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a lionfish hidden behind a coral reef. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How were you, Mr. Tilapia? asked Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Tilapi couldn't answer. His mouth was full of eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Tilapi laid her eggs. Now you are taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapi nodded his head. You must be very happy, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a pair of leaf fish hidden among the seaweed. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Curtis? asked Mr. Seahorse. Perfectly fine, replied Mr. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis laid her eggs and I have stuck them on my head. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You are doing a good job, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by... A stonefish hidden behind a rock. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How were you, Mr. Pipe? asked Mr. Seahorse. Couldn't be better, replied Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe laid her eggs along my belly. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You should feel proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Bullhead? asked Mr. Seahorse. Tip top, replied Mr. Bullhead. Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs and the eggs hatched. Now I am babysitting. You are doing a fine job, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that. At last, the babies tumbled from Mr. Seahorse's pouch and swam away. One baby turned around and tried to come back into the pouch. Oh no! said Mr. Seahorse, I do love you, but now 
You are ready to be on your own. The end. And that's the story of Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carl. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I see a red bird looking at me Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow dog looking at me. Yellow dog, yellow dog, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog. Looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish and the teacher looking at us that's what we see the end and that's the story of brown bear brown bear what do you see by bill martin jr pictures by eric carl the very busy spider by eric carl Early one morning, the wind blew the spider across the field. A thin, silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. <coughs> nay, nay, said the horse. Want to go for a ride? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. <coughs> said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Nay, nay, 
Ba ba bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ma <laughs> ma said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. <coughs> oink, oink, grunted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Woof, woof, barked the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Meow, meow, cried the cat. Want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. <coughs> quack, quack, called the dog. Want to go for a swim? The spider didn't answer. She had now finished her web. <coughs> cock a doodle do crowed the rooster. Want to catch a pesty fly? And the spider caught the fly in her web just like that. Asked the owl, who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. And that's the story of The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carl. Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? by Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? I hear a lion roaring in my ear Lion, Lion, What Do You Hear? I hear a hippopotamus snorting in my ear. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus, what do you hear? I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. Flamingo, flamingo, what do you hear? I hear a zebra braying in my ear. <coughs> zebra, zebra, what do you hear? I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. <coughs> elephant, elephant, what do you hear? I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. Leopard, leopard, what do you hear? I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. Peacock, peacock, what do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. 
Walrus, Walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. Zookeeper, Zookeeper, what do you hear? I hear children growling like a polar bear, roaring like a lion, snorting like a hippopotamus, fluting like a flamingo, braying like a zebra, hissing like a boa constrictor, trumpeting like an elephant, snarling like a leopard, yelping like a peacock, bellowing like a walrus. That's what I hear. The end. And that's the story of Polar Bear, Polar Bear, what do you hear? The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. One. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. One. Two. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. One. Two. Three. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One. Two. Three. Four. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled the hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly! That's the story of... The Very Hungry Caterpillar.
Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl. Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? I see a red fox sleeping by me. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see a flying squirrel gliding by me. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, what do you see? I see a mountain goat climbing near me. Mountain goat, mountain goat, what do you see? I see a blue heron flying by me. Blue heron, blue heron, what do you see? I see a prairie dog digging by me. Prairie dog, prairie dog, what do you see? I see a striped skunk strutting by me. Striped skunk, striped skunk, what do you see? I see a mule deer running by me. Mule deer, mule deer, what do you see? I see a rattlesnake sliding by me. Rattlesnake, rattlesnake, what do you see? I see a screech owl hooting at me. Screech owl, screech owl, what do you see? I see a mama bear looking at me. Mama bear, mama bear, what do you see? I see a red fox, a flying squirrel, a mountain goat, a blue heron, a prairie dog, a striped skunk, a mule deer, a rattlesnake, a screech owl, and my baby bear looking at me. That's what I see. The end. And that's the story of Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. and pictures by Eric Carl. From Head to Toe by Eric Carl. From Head to Toe. I am a penguin and I turn my head. Can you do it? I can do it! I am a giraffe and I bend my neck. Can you do it? I can do it! I am a buffalo and I raise my shoulders. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a monkey and I wave my arms. Can you do it? I can do it.
I am a seal and I clap my hands. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a gorilla and I thump my chest. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a cat and I arch my back. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a crocodile and I wriggle my hips. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a camel and I bend my knees. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a donkey and I kick my legs. Can you do it? I can do it. I am an elephant and I stomp my foot. Can you do it? I can do it. I am I and I wiggle my toes. Can you do it? That's the story of From Head to Toe by Eric Carl. Panda Bear, Panda Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl. Panda Bear, Panda Bear, What Do You See? I see a bald eagle soaring by me. Bald eagle, bald eagle, what do you see? I see a water buffalo charging by me. Water buffalo, water buffalo, what do you see? I see a spider monkey swinging by me. Spider monkey, spider monkey, what do you see? I see a green sea turtle swimming by me. Green sea turtle, green sea turtle, what do you see? I see a macaroni penguin strutting by me. Macaroni penguin, macaroni penguin, what do you see? I see a sea lion splashing by me. Sea lion, sea lion, what do you see? I see a red wolf sneaking by me. Red wolf, red wolf, what do you see? I see a whooping crane flying by me. Whooping crane, whooping crane, what do you see? I see a black panther strolling by me. Black panther, black panther, what do you see? I see a dreaming child watching over me. Dreaming child, dreaming child, what do you see? I see a 
panda bear, a bald eagle, a water buffalo, a spider monkey, a green sea turtle, a macaroni penguin, a sea lion, a red wolf, a whooping crane, and a black panther. All wild and free. That's what I see. The end. And that's the story of Panda Bear, Panda Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl. The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing its wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but Nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. How are you? hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good evening! Where'd a dragon fly, gliding above the water? The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but Nothing happened. Not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night. And the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. The end. And that's the story of The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carl. 
As the sun set, a little firefly was born. It stretched its wings and flew off into the darkening sky. It was a lonely firefly and it flashed its light searching for other fireflies. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a light bulb lighting up the night. Hear that noise? The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a candle flickering in the night. What's going on? The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a flashlight shining in the night. Quiet out there. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a lantern glowing in the night. What is it? Hey, stop fighting! The firefly saw several lights and flew toward them. But they were not other fireflies. There was a dog. And a cat. Meow hiss. And an owl, their eyes reflecting the light. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a car's headlights flooding the night. Look! Wow! It's beautiful! The firefly saw many lights and flew toward them. But they were not other fireflies. They were fireworks sparkling and glittering and shimmering the night. When all was quiet, the firefly flew through the night, flashing its light, looking and searching again. Then, the very lonely firefly saw what it had been looking for. A group of fireflies flashing their lights. Now, the firefly wasn't lonely anymore. The end. And that's the story of The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carle. Hi kids! It's time to learn with Miss Kay. Today we are going to read the story of Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carle. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist. This way and that. This is Mr. Seahorse. And this is Mrs. Seahorse. Do you know how a seahorse looks like in real life? A seahorse looks like this. This is a seahorse. Seahorse. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help? asked Mr. Seahorse. Oh yes, thank you, said Mrs. Seahorse. And she laid her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take good care of our eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. Do you know where the eggs are? The eggs are in the belly of Mr. Seahorse now. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by 
What is this? A group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of reeds. So this is a patch of reeds. A patch of reeds. And this is a group of trumpet fish. Trumpet fish. This is a trumpet fish. Can you say it? Trumpet fish. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? asked Mr. Seahorse. Delighted, replied Mr. Stickleback. I just built a nest and right away, Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs into it. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. Keep up the good work, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. This is a stickleback. Stickleback. This is a stickleback. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by. <gasps> what is this? A lionfish hidden behind a coral reef. So this is a coral reef. And hiding behind a coral reef is lionfish. This is a coral reef. Coral reef. What type of fish is this? It's a lionfish. Lionfish. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Tilapia? asked Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Tilapia couldn't answer. His mouth was full of eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Tilapia laid her eggs. Now you are taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapia nodded his head. You must be very happy, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. This is a tilapia. Tilapia. A tilapia is a type of fish. Tilapia. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by. <gasps> What's this again? He passed right by several live fish hidden among the seaweed. So this is a seaweed. Seaweed. This is a seaweed. And this fish is live fish. We call this live fish. This is a live fish. Live fish. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Curtis? asked Mr. Seahorse. Perfectly fine, replied Mr. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis laid her eggs and I have stuck them on my head. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You are doing a good job, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. This is a Curtis fish. Curtis fish. Curtis. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by. <gasps> Do you know what this is? He passed right by a stonefish hidden behind a rock. This is a rock. The rock is so big. And this is a stonefish. Stonefish. This is a stonefish. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Pipe? asked Mr. Seahorse. Couldn't be better, replied Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe laid her eggs along my belly. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. 
You should feel proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. This is a pipe fish. Pipe fish. What do you call this? A pipe fish. This is how a pipe fish looks like in real life. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How were you, Mr. Bullhead? asked Mr. Seahorse. Tip top, replied Mr. Bullhead. Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs and the eggs hatch. Now I am babysitting. You are doing a fine job, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. Oh, look at the bullhead fish. This is a bullhead fish. Bullhead. So now the eggs are hatched and they turn into baby bullhead fish. Oh look, something exciting happened! The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that. At last, the babies tumbled from Mr. Seahorse's pouch and swam away. One baby turned around and tried to come back into the pouch. Oh no, said Mr. Seahorse. I do love you, but now you are ready to be on your own. So the seahorse babies are now on their own. Good job, Mr. Seahorse. The end. And that's the story of Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carl. Oh, I think the author has something to say about the book. Let's read it. Dear friends, in most families, after the mother has laid the eggs and the father has fertilized them, the eggs are left on their own, but there are exceptions such as the seahorse, stickleback, tilapia, Curtis nursery fish, pipefish, bullhead catfish, and some others. Not only are the eggs cared for by a parent, but surprise, that parent is the father. This may sound strange, but it is the truth. And this is my story about them. I hope you enjoy my story. Hi kids, are you ready to learn with Miss Kay? Today we are going to read the story of From Head to Toe by Eric Carl. Let's go! From Head to Toe by Eric Carl. I am a penguin and I turn my head. Can you do it? I can do it. This is a penguin. Can you turn your head like a penguin? Penguin. I am a giraffe and I bend my neck. Can you do it? I can do it. This animal is a giraffe. It's a giraffe. Can you bend your neck like a giraffe? Wow, amazing! I am a buffalo and I raise my shoulders. Can you do it? I can do it! This animal is a buffalo! Buffalo! Can you raise your shoulders like a buffalo? Yes? Great job! I am a monkey and I wave my arms. Can you do it? I can do it! This is a monkey. And a monkey waves its arms. Can you wave your arms like a monkey? Wave, wave, wave! I am 
a seal and I clap my hands. Can you do it? I can do it. This is a seal. Can you clap your hands like a seal? Seal. I'm a gorilla and I thump my chest. Can you do it? I can do it. This is a gorilla. Gorilla. Can you thump your chest like a gorilla? Very good. I am a cat and I arch my back. Can you do it? I can do it. This is a cat. Can you arch your back like a cat? Yes? Very good. I am a crocodile and I wriggle my hips. Can you do it? I can do it. This is a crocodile. Crocodile. Can you wriggle your hips like a crocodile? I am a camel and I bend my knees. Can you do it? I can do it. This is a camel. A camel. Can you bend your knees like a camel? I am a donkey and I kick my legs. Can you do it? I can do it. This is a donkey. A donkey. Can you kick your legs like a donkey? Let me see. Wow, great effort! I am an elephant and I stomp my foot. Can you do it? This is an elephant. Can you stomp your foot like an elephant? I am I and I wiggle my toe. Can you do it? I can do it! I can do it! Can you wiggle your toe like the little boy? Yes! The end! And that's the story of From Head to Toe by Eric Carl. Hi kids! Are you ready to learn with Miss K? Today, we are going to read about a can you guess what this is? It's a b b It is a It's a bear. You're right. It's a bear. Who can tell me the color of the bear? What is the color of the bear? The bear is b b The bear is brown. Yes. The bear is brown. So, we're going to read about the story of the... Can you guess? Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl. Hi, Brown Bear, we're gonna read about you. Let's go! I have pictures here of the different characters in our story. So, what we are going to do is to match the pictures with the pictures in our storybook. Are you ready? I'm so excited! Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Can you point which one is brown bear here? Which of the two pictures is brown bear? Can you point it using your finger? You're right, this is brown bear. 
Let's put brown bear here. Can you please say hi brown bear? Hi brown bear. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow dog looking at me. Which of the two pictures is the red bird? Is this the red bird? No. Is this the red bird? Yes. We're gonna put red bird here. Say hi to red bird. Hi red bird. Yellow dog, yellow dog, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Which one is yellow dog? Can you point it using your finger? Yes, this is the yellow dog. Yellow dog. Yellow dog is there. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Which one is the blue horse? Is this a blue horse? Yes, you're doing an amazing job. This is the blue horse. It looks like our picture here. Hi, blue horse. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Which one is the green frog? Can you point it? Which one is the green frog? Is this the green frog? No. Is this the green frog? Yes, this is the green frog. Let's put the green frog here. Hi, green frog. Hi, green frog. Hi. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. Where is the purple cat? Very good. This is our purple cat. Let's put the purple cat here. And what will we say to our purple cat? Hi, purple cat. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Which picture is the picture of a white dog? Point it to me. Very good. This is a picture of the white dog. White dog, you're going to be there, white dog. Woof, woof, woof. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Which picture is the picture of a black sheep? Is this the black sheep? No. Is this the black sheep? Yes, this is the black sheep. Let's put the black sheep here. Ba ba. Hi black sheep. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Which one is the fish? Can you help Miss K find out which one is the fish? Is this a fish? No. Is this a fish? Yes. This is a picture of a fish. Glop, 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 glop. Hi, fish. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Which picture is the picture of a teacher? Is this the picture of a teacher? Yes, this is a picture of the teacher. It looks very much like the picture in our book. Hi, teacher. Children, children, what do you see? We see a, what is this? Brown bear, a 
red bird a yellow dog a blue horse a green frog a purple cat a white dog a black sheep a goldfish and a who is this t -t -t -t. teacher looking at us that's what we see what do we call this these are children so we're gonna put the picture of children here I hope you enjoyed today's learning time with Miss K. I sure did. Don't forget, we have more activities for Brown Bear. Brown Bear, what do you see? Hi kids, it's Miss K again. And today we are going to read about something that crawls. Do you have an idea about what it is? We're going to read about the... Very Hungry Caterpillar. I'm so excited, so let's do it. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Can you spot where the egg is? You're right, that's the egg. And what do you call this? This is the moon. Moon, you're right. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. What is this? This is the sun. You're right. It's the sun. Now, can you help Miss K spot where the tiny caterpillar is? <gasps> oh, there is our tiny caterpillar. Can you please say hi? Let's wave hi to our tiny caterpillar. Hi. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. Let's do a big bite. Yum! But he was still hungry. How many apples did the caterpillar eat on Monday? One. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. Nom! Nom! But he was still hungry. How many pears did the caterpillar eat on Tuesday? Let's count. One two two pears on wednesday he ate through three plums yum 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 but he was still hungry how many plums did the caterpillar eat on wednesday let's count one two three show me number three using your fingers three on thursday he ate through four strawberries Nom, 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 nom. But he was still hungry. How many strawberries did a caterpillar eat on Thursday? One, two, three, four. Can you please show number four? Four, that's right. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. Nom, 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 nom. But he was still hungry. How many oranges did a caterpillar eat on Friday? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Show number five using your hand. Number five. This is number five. <gasps> oh, what is this? On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That's a lot of food, don't you think so? Can we count how many food did the caterpillar eat on Saturday? Let's start. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten show me number ten using your fingers <gasps> ten that's a lot of food how many nom nom should we do let's do ten nom noms okay 
Nom 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 <laughs> That night he had a stomach ache <sighs> My stomach is hurting my stomach is hurting because I ate a lot of food See it's not good to eat a lot of food because your stomach might hurt The next day was Sunday again the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Yay, our caterpillar feels much better now. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Ooh, do you still remember how our caterpillar looks like when it was tiny? This is how our caterpillar looks like when it was tiny. But after eating a one nice green lip, now he is big and he's also fat. Are you ready to see a big and fat caterpillar? <gasps> Let's count one, two, three. One, two, three. Caterpillar is so big and it's so fat. Ooh, hi Caterpillar. Can you please say hi to Caterpillar? Hi Caterpillar. Look how big and how fat our Caterpillar is now. Woo! Hi Caterpillar. Now, let's see what's going to happen to our big and fat Caterpillar. He built a small house called the cocoon around himself. So this is our cocoon. It starts with letter C and the sound of C is K K K. Can you please say K K K? Okay. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole into the cocoon. Um, yum, 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 yum. Pushed his way out and... He was a beautiful butterfly. Look how colorful the butterfly is. Can we say hi, butterfly? Wave hi to the butterfly. Why, butterfly? So our caterpillar is no longer tiny and no longer small. Now he was a beautiful butterfly. And that's the story of the very hungry caterpillar. Yay, yay, yay! I enjoyed this story so much. Hi kids! Are you ready to learn with Miss K? Today we're going to read about another animal. We're going to read about a... Do you know what animal is this? We're going to read about a... B -b -b Bear! We're going to read about a bear. So Miss Kay already told the story about brown bear, but this time we're going to read about a different type of bear. Do you know what type of bear this is? This is a... P -p -p it's a polar bear! We're gonna read about polar bear today. We're going to read... Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? by Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl. Hi, Polar Bear. Can we wave hi to Polar Bear? Hi, Polar Bear. We're going to read about you today. We're so excited. So let's go, kids. Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? by Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl. Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? Polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? Do you know the sound that the polar bear makes? Let's listen. The polar bear makes a... Growling sound. Which of these two animals makes a growling sound like this? Is this animal or this animal? Can you point it using your finger? 
This animal makes a growling sound. And what do you call this animal? It's a... Polar bear. So we're going to put polar bear here because polar bear makes a growling sound. Now, let's read it again. Polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? I hear a lion roaring in my ear. Can we listen? That is a roaring sound. So the lion makes a roaring sound. Can you tell Miss K which animal it makes a roaring sound like this? It's a lion. So the lion makes a roaring sound. Let's read it. Lion, lion, what do you hear? I hear a hippopotamus snorting in my ear. Whoa, what animal is this? It's a hippopotamus. And the hippopotamus is making a snorting sound like this. Who makes a snorting sound like this? Is this animal or this animal? This animal makes a snorting sound. And what do you call this animal? It's a hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Let's read it. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus, what do you hear? I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. Who makes a fluting sound like this? Is it the flamingo or an elephant? It's the flamingo. So the flamingo makes a fluting sound. Let's read it. Flamingo, flamingo, what do you hear? I hear a zebra braying in my ear. The zebra makes a braying sound like this. Which of the two animals makes a braying sound? It's the... Do you know? It's the... Zebra! So the zebra makes a braying sound. Zebra, zebra, what do you hear? I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Ooh, what animal is this? It's a boa constrictor. A boa constrictor is a type of snake. And it makes a... What sound is that? It's a hissing sound. So the boa constrictor it makes a hissing sound. Who makes a hissing sound like this? Is this animal or this animal? It's the boa constrictor. Let's read it. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. Whoa, look at our elephant. The elephant makes a trumpeting sound like this. Who makes a trumpeting sound like this? It's the elephant. Yes, the elephant makes a trumpeting sound. Let's read it. Elephant, elephant, what do you hear? I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. The leopard makes a snarling sound. Who makes a snarling sound like this? Is this animal or this animal? This animal makes a snarling sound. It's the leopard that makes the snarling sound. Let's read it. Leopard, leopard, what do you hear? I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. 
The peacock makes a yelping sound. Which of the two animals makes a yelping sound? <coughs> this one. We call it a peacock. Let's read it. Peacock, peacock, what do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. Let's listen to the sound that the walrus makes. The walrus makes a bellowing sound. Walrus, walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. Zookeeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? I hear children growling like a polar bear, roaring like a lion, snorting like a hippopotamus, floating like a flamingo, braying like a zebra, hissing like a boa constrictor, trumpeting like an elephant, snarling like a leopard, yelping like a peacock, bellowing like a walrus, that's what I hear. The end. And that's the story of the polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? Hi kids, it's time to learn with Miss K. Today we're going to read another fun story. We're going to read the story of The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carl. Come on and join Miss K. Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. Can you spot where the spider is? The spider is right there! This is a spider! Spider. Nay, nay, said the horse. Want to go for a ride? This is a horse. A horse says nay. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. said the cow. Want to eat some grass? This is a grass. What animal is this? It's a cow. Cow. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ba ba bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? This is a sheep. Sheep. The sheep is in the meadow. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ma, ma, said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? These are rocks. Rocks. What animal is this? It's a goat. Goat. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Oink, oink, grunted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? <laughs> this is a mud. Mud. Pig. The pig is in the mud. Pig. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Woof woof! Barked the dog. Want to chase a cat? This is a dog. The dog is running. Dog. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Meow, meow, cried the cat. Want to take a nap? Cat. 
cat. The cat is taking a nap. Cat. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Quack quack. Called the duck. Want to go for a swim? This is a duck. The duck is on the pond. Duck. The spider didn't answer. She had now finished her web. Cock a doodle doo! Crowed the rooster. Want to catch a pesty fly? This is a fly. And what animal is this? It's a rooster. Rooster. And the spider caught the fly in her web just like that. Woo woo! Asked the owl, who built this beautiful web? This is an owl. Owl. And of course, this is a web. Web. The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. Oh, the spider is sleeping now. It got very tired making its web. The end. And that's the story of The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carl. kids it's time to learn with miss k today we're going to read the story of panda bear panda bear what do you see panda bear panda bear what do you see by bill martin jr pictures by eric carl panda bear panda bear what do you see i see a bald eagle soaring by me this animal is a Panda bear. Panda bear. This is a panda bear. What is this? A panda bear. Bold eagle, bold eagle, what do you see? I see a water buffalo charging by me. This animal is a bold eagle. Bold eagle. A bold eagle is a type of bird. Bold eagle. Water buffalo, water buffalo, what do you see? I see a spider monkey swinging by me. This is a water buffalo. Water buffalo. This animal is a water buffalo. Spider monkey, spider monkey, what do you see? I see a green sea turtle swimming by me. This is a spider monkey. A spider monkey. What is this? It's a spider monkey. Green sea turtle, green sea turtle, what do you see? I see a macaroni penguin strutting by me. This is a sea turtle, a sea turtle. This is a sea turtle. Macaroni penguin, macaroni penguin, what do you see? 
I see a sea lion splashing by me. A macaroni penguin. This animal is a macaroni penguin. Macaroni penguin. Sea lion, sea lion, what do you see? I see a red wolf sneaking by me. What do you think is this, kids? This is a sea lion. Sea lion. A sea lion. Red wolf, red wolf, what do you see? I see a whooping crane flying by me. Red wolf. This animal is a red wolf. This is a red wolf. Whooping crane, whooping crane, what do you see? I see a black panther strolling by me. This is a whooping crane. A whooping crane. This is a whooping crane. Black panther, black panther, what do you see? I see a dreaming child watching over me. Black panther, this is a black panther. What animal is this? It's a black panther. Dreaming child, dreaming child, what do you see? I see... Do you still remember these animals? These are the animals that we just read from the previous pages. Now, let's see if you could name the animals. A Panda bear A Bold eagle A Water buffalo a spider monkey A green sea turtle A macaroni penguin A sea lion A red wolf A whooping crane and a black panther Now let's make it a little bit fast a panda bear, a bald eagle, a water buffalo, a spider monkey, a green sea turtle, a macaroni penguin, a sea lion, a red wolf, a whooping crane, and a black panther, all wild and free. That's what I see. The end. And that's the story of... Panda bear, panda bear, what do you see? Hi kids, are you ready to learn with Miss K? Today we're going to learn about insects as we read the story of The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. Come on and let's join Miss K. The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Can you spot where the cricket is? This is the cricket. Cricket. Can you say it? Cricket. This is the sun. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is the little cricket. Big cricket. Little cricket. Big cricket. Do you know how a cricket looks like in real life? 
this is a cricket. 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 Good morning. With a locust spinning through the air, the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is the locust. Locust. A locust looks like this. Locust. Say it one more time. Locust. Hello. Whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. What is this? This is a praying mantis. Praying mantis. This is how a praying mantis looks like. Praying mantis. See that? Good day! Crunch a worm, munching its way out of an apple. Um, yum, 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 yum. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Where is the worm? Oh, the worm is there. It's munching its way out of an apple. This is how a fruit worm looks like. Warm. A warm. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is a spittle bug. Spittle bug. A spittle bug looks like this. A spittle bug. Say it one more time, spittle bug. Good afternoon, screech a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. This is a cicada. Cicada. A cicada looks like this. Cicada. How are you? Hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. What is this, kids? It's a bumblebee. Bumblebee. And a bumblebee looks like this. Bumblebee. Good evening, where the dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is a dragonfly. Dragonfly. This is how a dragonfly looks like. Dragonfly. Good night. Buzz the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. What are these? These are mosquitoes. And the mosquitoes makes a buzzing sound. A mosquito looks like this. Mosquito. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. This is a luna moth. A luna moth. A luna moth looks like this. Luna moth. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She, too, was a very quiet cricket. Then, he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time, he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. These two are both crickets. So both of these insects are crickets. They look like this. Crickets. 
The end. And that's the story of The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. Oh wait, I think the author has an important thing to tell us here. Let's read. Did you know that there are 4,000 different kinds of crickets? Some live underground, others above, some live in shrubs or trees, and some even live in water. Both male and female crickets can hear, but only the male can make a sound. Wow! So by rubbing his wings together, he chirps. Some people say that it sounds like a song. That's a great thing to know about crickets. I hope that you enjoyed our story for today. Let's study the insects that we just learned from the story of The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. Let's see if you could guess them. The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. This is a cricket. Yes. This is a locust. This is a praying mantis. This is a worm. This is a spittle bug. Spittle bug. What is this? A cicada. How about this? Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Dragonfly. It's a dragonfly. Mosquito. A mosquito. Luna moth. Luna moth. And these are crickets. Again, we learned this from the story of The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. See you kids again next time. Don't forget to ask your grown ups to subscribe to our channel so you could learn more words and, of course, listen to more stories with Miss K. Bye for now. Hi kids, are you ready to learn with Miss K? Today we're going to read another story about a bear. In case you have not seen some of our videos, Miss K already told the story about brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? And polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? So make sure to check those out. But for today, we're going to read about baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? Are you ready to listen? Well, I hope so. Come on and let's start the story. Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl. Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? Where is our baby bear? Whoa! Our baby bear is right there. He's up on the... What is this? tree this is a tree let's wave hi to our baby bear hi baby bear since we already know where baby bear is let's read it again baby bear baby bear what do you see i see a red fox sleeping by me <gasps> whoa oh look hi red fox this is a red fox Red fox. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see a flying squirrel gliding by me. Let's see the flying squirrel. There goes our flying squirrel. What is this? It's a flying squirrel. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, what do you see? I see a mountain goat climbing near me. Ooh, look at our mountain goat. Mountain goat, mountain goat, what do you see? I see a blue heron flying by me. This is a mountain goat. Mountain goat. What is this? This is a mountain goat. It's a goat. This 
is our blue heron. A blue heron is a type of bird. Blue heron, blue heron, what do you see? This is a blue heron. Blue heron. Blue heron. I see a prairie dog digging by me. There goes our prairie dog and the prairie dog is digging. Can you please try to imitate the prairie dog? Let's pretend that we're digging. Digging, digging, digging. This is a prairie dog. Prairie dog. Prairie dog. Prairie dog, prairie dog, what do you see? I see a striped skunk strutting by me. Oh, hi striped skunk. This is a striped skunk. Can you please say skunk? Skunk. This is a striped skunk. Striped skunk. Striped skunk. Striped skunk, striped skunk. What do you see? What do you see, striped skunk? I see a mule deer running by me. The deer is running, running, running. This is a mule deer. Let's say deer, deer, a mule deer. Mule deer, mule deer, what do you see? This is a mule deer. Mule deer, a mule deer. I see a rattlesnake sliding by me. <gasps> Hi, rattlesnake. What is the sound that the snake makes? It's a hissing sound. So the snake makes a hissing sound. This is a rattlesnake. A rattlesnake is a form of snake. Rattlesnake, rattlesnake, what do you see? This is a rattlesnake. A rattlesnake. I see a screech owl hooting at me. <gasps> Oh, look at the eyes of our owl. They're so big, right? So, a screech owl is a type of bird. Can you please say owl? Owl. Owl. Screech owl, screech owl. What do you see? Hmm, what do you see, screech owl? This is a screech owl. Screech owl. I see a mama bear looking at me. <gasps> Whoa! Look at the bear. What can you say about the bear? The bear is so big. The bear is so big. The bear is big because this is our mama bear. This is mama bear. This is a bear. This is a bear. This is a mama bear. Mama bear, mama bear, what do you see? Hmm, what do you see, mama bear? I see. Look, do you still remember these animals? These are all the animals that we read from the previous pages. Let's see if you can still remember the animals. Mama bear says she sees a. Do you know what this is? A red fox. A flying squirrel. A mountain goat. A blue heron. A prairie dog. A striped skunk. A mule deer, a rattlesnake, a screech owl, and what 
is this? This one it looks exactly like mama bear, but this one is a little bit smaller, so therefore this is the... Who do you think? It's the baby bear! This is a baby bear. Baby bear. A baby bear. So let's read it a little bit fast. Mama bear says, I see a red fox, a flying squirrel, a mountain goat, a blue heron, a prairie dog, a striped skunk, a mule deer, a rattlesnake, a screech owl, and my baby bear looking at me. That's what I see. The end. And that's the story of Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. and pictures by Eric Carl. Did you enjoy our story for today? I hope that you enjoyed our story. Hi kids, it's time to learn with Miss K. Today we are going to read the story of The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carl. Let's start! The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carl. As the sun set, a little firefly was born. It stretched its wings and flew off into the darkening sky. Do you know how a firefly looks like? Can you spot where the firefly is? The firefly is right there. That's a firefly. A firefly looks like this. This is a firefly. Can you say it? Firefly. How about this? What is this? This is a sun. It's a sun. And the sun looks like this, right? Sun. Can you please say sun? Sun. It was a lonely firefly and it flashed its light searching for other fireflies. Oh, poor firefly. The firefly is lonely because the firefly is searching for other... Other what? It's searching for other fireflies. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a light bulb lighting up the night. Do you know how a light bulb looks like? This is a light bulb. A light bulb. Can you say it? Light bulb. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a candle flickering in the night. Where is the candle? Can you point it using your finger? That's the candle. This is a candle. Candle. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a flashlight shining in the night. The flashlight is right there. And the flashlight looks like this what is this this is a flashlight a flashlight the firefly saw a light and flew toward it but it was not another firefly it was a lantern glowing in the night where is the lantern the lantern is right there this is a lantern a lantern a lantern is glowing in the night. The firefly saw several lights and flew toward them. But they were not other fireflies. There was a dog. Woof, woof, woof. Grrr. And a cat. What's the sound of the cat? Meow, meow. And an owl. Their eyes reflecting the lights. Do you know the sound that the owl makes? The owl says, hoot, hoot, hoot. So, the eyes of the dog, cat, and owl are reflecting the lights just like this. Look at where the arrows are pointing. 
We call these eyes. These are the eyes. They're reflecting the lights. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a car's headlights flooding the night. This is a car. And the car has a headlight. The headlight is right there. And it shines so bright during nighttime. The firefly saw many lights and flew toward them. But they were not other fireflies. What do you think are these? These are? Mm, let's read. They were fireworks sparkling and glittering and shimmering in the night. So these are what we call fireworks. Fireworks. Can you say it? Fireworks. When all was quiet, the firefly flew through the night, flashing its light, looking and searching again. So the firefly is still looking and searching for other fireflies through the through the night. This is nighttime because there's a moon right there. So we call this night. Then the very lonely firefly saw what it had been looking for. Do you still remember what the firefly is looking for? Let's find out. A group of fireflies flashing their lights. So here's our firefly and now there are a group of... There are a group of... Fireflies! Now the firefly wasn't lonely anymore. The end. And that's the story of The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carle.